Alright guys, welcome back. We are going to be taking a first look at 8.0.24.0. This is Ninja Trader's latest build with three new features and 61 fixes. Now we're going to highlight the most important stuff so you don't have to comb through all that. We're going to be looking at the most important feature added as well as 10 fixes. Now it's not to say that there's nothing else in there that doesn't matter, but this is what we consider is going to be the top that you probably should need to know. Now, just a five second quick plug, if you don't mind, we are giving away our free uh, XABCD news indicator as well as our XABCD price line. You can get those at XABCDtrading.com. And if you have any other interest in exploring our products, by all means, go ahead. But the news and price line tools are free. So let's get to this new feature and 10 new fixes right after this. <laughs> First feature, we are going to go to tools and options and you're going to see it midway down. It says reopen all previous opened workspaces at startup. So what does that mean? So by default, this is unchecked. Now, if you want to opt into it, it's going to open up all your workspaces. So let me just tell you what this means. Let's just say you have uh, a bunch of workspaces like I do here. Okay. If you had five of these open, all of them, or, or let's just say you had almost all of them, it's going to take a long time for your computer to load them all up. So when you start Ninja Trader, you only might want to load the most recent one up that you were using at that time. Okay. Now, if you want to load up all of them, all five of them, you can go into tools and options and you can say, okay, reopen up all my previous opened workspaces. And it's going to open up, let's just say five of them. If this is unchecked, it's only going to open one. And the reason why that matters is by default, if it only opens up the most current one, it's going to load Ninja Trader a lot quicker. There's a lot of people that have performance issues with Ninja Trader after a while because they don't understand that underneath workspaces, anything that is green or gray means it's open. They think gray is not open, but what it means is it's running in the background. This way, it's only going to open one workspace and that workspace is going to open a lot quicker. So can you imagine, let's just say you had five workspaces, each of them are scanning a ton of markets, a ton of time frames, and you don't even know that they're open. It's a lot easier and quicker to just open the one that you were last using. And then it's an option for you if you want to load them up yourself later on. So this is going to definitely help people with performance issues that might not even realize that they 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 had their Ninja Trader kind of mis configured in a way because it was overusing uh, a lot of resources that they weren't even looking at because it was all running in the background. So this is definitely a, a positive and something that a lot of people will probably uh, not realize that they're benefiting from, but uh, we'll, we'll find Ninja Trader a lot more snappy and quick. So bug 14774, this is actually a fix that has to do with your workspace as well. If you had, um, if you had restored English workspaces, in German, it would kind of give you an error. So that has since been fixed and resolved. So 14789, there was a fix for the FXCM. So the realized profit or loss is if you were using uh, FXCM as a connection for your broker uh, inside your account, uh, that tab uh, could be reporting data incorrectly, but it has since been fixed. 14739. Now, this was to do with your database. If you ever did data resets or repairs, uh, you'll notice it down at the very bottom here. This uh, was adding, uh, I guess, some instruments had incorrect information after you use this. So that has since been resolved in 14739. 14675. Now, this had to do with the global um, crosshairs. Uh, so if you had seen this before a uh, video that we've done with macro keys and hotkeys, turn these on and off, which is nice because the price is along the right side of the bar if you had this working. Um, but uh, some small movements here as you moved your global crosshairs, they would have not calculated that difference and not shown you that the small differences with small movements. Uh, so that has since been resolved in 14675. Uh, so 14673, this has to do with workspaces. So workspace changes were not saved when exiting. So it's important that if you were to try to restore then a, a workspace and its name was too long, you would run into problems. So uh, if you had short names, you probably never would have noticed this, but something longer, you probably would have. So 14673. 
Okay, 14697, this had to do with uh, your chart types. If you were using Renko bars as a type and putting them on a volume chart, uh, it wouldn't work, but it now does. 14785, this has to do with your alert log. This is ours, okay? So basically our market analyzer finds patterns, it tosses it in your alert log, and then you can see them here, you can filter this and all that. The filters were not working as expected, so 14785 has resolved that. Now 14643, this has to do with uh, your connections if you were using one called TDA for your equity, so TD Ameritrade. If you were using them, there was a situation or an error that was caused and real data wasn't coming in after that point. So that has now been resolved. I think that's really important for equity traders. Okay, 14752, I've experienced this one, but it had to do with, uh, if you were using Kinetic and instruments on the NASDAQ, had caused a disconnect and reconnect loop. That's definitely something I've seen. So it's now been resolved. I haven't experienced it since, uh, but that had to do if you were using Kinetic as a provider. 14751, this had to do with drawing tools. So we have some pattern drawing tools. Uh, there's some other default ones in NT8. Um, but if you were using drawing tools, you might have noticed that if you changed instruments and then went back to that instrument, the original drawing tool wasn't uh, shown, but that has now been resolved. So that's basically it. Uh, that's your most important feature and your 10 most important fixes. If you do want to get that news indicator or that price line indicator, remember you can get it from xabcdtrading.com. Also feel free to subscribe for all these videos and summary videos so you don't have to comb through all their release notes. Uh, we'll tell you what's important and what you need to know in the upcoming releases of NinjaTrader 8.0.24.0 and beyond. Uh, don't forget to slap that like button so that you know and we know that you like it and we'll see you guys in the next video.